what is more effective way to ensure that you can save a certain amount that you want to save for example to save uh, 2000 or 3000 per month is to make sure that you fix the amount that you want to save say for example 3000 per month okay and then put that 3000 a, a month in, uh, saving into maybe a, a saving account or maybe into an investment then only you will spend the rest of the money to take care of your expenses okay so it has been proven to be more effective that way that you always save before you spend but i always find that a lot of time uh, what drive uh, a client to invest and to save is when they have a big picture as to what happened to their life you know going forward 10 years 15 years from now so when they know that uh, they need to support themselves okay when they retire or they need to support the children for certain uh, maybe education kind of, uh, fees that's where the motivation uh, to save you know, become very strong you know? uh, if compared to if you just like ian say you should save i say you should save and then you say i then i should try to save then chances are uh, this cloud kind of drive to save may not be that strong i would always advocate that when uh, when we retire uh, it does not mean that your money that you have invested and you have saved so far can retire together with you. you know? Then you can put all this money in the fixed deposit or put into Tabung Haji or put in Amman Saham and, and that's it. You know? uh, I do not believe in that because when whether you are 50 years old or 55 years old when you retire, you still have got another 25 years or even like 30 years for you to live before you leave this world. And to every day that we live in this world, in these modern days, we need money to support our lifestyle. So for that matter, uh, inflation, guess what? Do not stop when you retire, okay? The inflation will continue to hit you, sometimes higher, maybe like 8%, 9%, like what's happening in US, you know, or maybe to a certain part of Malaysia also, to certain people as well. Uh, sometimes maybe lower, maybe 3% or 4%, but continue to be there. So for that matter, there's, I would also suggest that uh, there's no such thing you know, about uh, stop investing in equity, stop investing in equity unit trust when you are 50 years old or when you retire. Okay. So what I always allocate is that you continue to invest the investment in a very diversified uh, asset allocation in such a way that you may have some investment asset that can support you uh, for you to take care of your short-term cash flow because you don't have active income anymore. But the bulk of your asset should be invested to, to those investments that will be able to beat inflation and also be able to uh, help you to continue to grow your asset because the point is that we will never know how long that we live. <laughs>